In today's video, we are going to talk about hosting a .NET Core application or the standard .NET application. When you build an application, hosting that application and making it live is a critical and the ultimate goal of any project. But where do you host a .NET Core application? If someone was asking my favorite, that will be hands down on Azure. But Azure can be expensive for someone getting started or building a prototype for a small company or if you have a very small business, hosting it on Azure is not that relevant when you consider the cost that Azure has as compared to other hosting. For someone who is getting started in the .NET world and wants to deploy an application or if they do not have enough budget to try on Azure and they want to explore different routes, I have a solution for that. If you go to the official Microsoft documentation, you will see other hosting platforms that support ASP.NET hosting and there if you scroll down, you will see Smarter ASP.NET. I have personally used Smarter ASP.NET and I love it for deploying .NET application. One thing that I love about them is their technical team and their support. If you are deploying an application and if something does not work in the deployment, they have a dedicated technical team that will help you browse through some of the issues and also suggest on what should be done. And they are pretty quick as well. And I am going to show you on how to deploy the application, deploy database and make sure everything is functional in Smarter ASP.NET. Once you navigate there, they have 60 day of free trial, no credit card required and I will click on get started. I will also provide my affiliate URL if you could use that. I would highly appreciate that. Perfect, the registration looks good here. And right here, if you enter my affiliate ID, I would appreciate that. And the affiliate ID you can see on the screen right here. But with that, let me hit the sign up button. The email from smarterasp.net first time might go into spam folder, so make sure to check that. Let me click to activate the account here and let me log in. And perfect, we have signed in here. We have 60 days of free trial. Let me try now. We need to select a server location. You can select whatever is closer to you. Let me enter the password here. Here it is asking first website root folder name and I will call this demo app. We will check that I understand all Facebook bots and phishing sites will be deleted. That is fine. Let me hit the next button. Perfect. We are confirming the web app here. Let me submit. Once you submit, it will take a couple of minutes to set everything up. Let me wait for that. Once it is complete here, it might take up to 5 minutes to set everything up and once that is done, we will navigate to control panel here and right there it will take us to our website. Now right now we do not have any domain name on the account, we have a temporary URL but if you navigate there, you will not see any detail. The reason is we have not deployed anything to this location so there is nothing to be displayed. Now how do we add files to this particular location? Let me go to Visual Studio and first create a project. In Visual Studio here, let me create a new project. It will be an MVC project. I will call that web app demo here. Let me create that with .NET 9 and authentication I will make it individual user account. That way we will have a database which we will configure as well. With that configured, let me hit the create button. And perfect, our project is created. Let me open app settings here. And we have the database name here. Let me modify that to simplify it. And that looks good. Let me run migration. In the package manager, we will navigate there. And if you do not have it, you'll go to tools package manager console and there we will write update database. 
Now the reason we can write update database is I believe migrations are already there for the identity tables that are needed for authentication. Perfect, that is done here. Let me open up SQL Server and examine if that looks good. In the database here, we have the ASP.NET Web App Demo and it should have few tables. Perfect, looks good. Now here if the connection string is invalid, then you will have to modify that according to your requirement. But with that, if I run the project, well, let me stop that. I will run it using IIS Express. That way it will load the web browser. And let me register here. I will say admin at gmail.com. Enter a password. And hit the register button. Perfect. We have a temporary confirm here. And now I can log in using that account. Perfect. That looks good. If I navigate to database in the ASP.NET users, I should have a record here. And perfect. So our database is functional when we register on this demo application. Before I work on the deployment here, we need to create this database in the hosting server, which is smarter ASP.NET. In the free trial, you will be able to create one server. If you go back in the database, I will click on MS SQL and I will add a database. The name of web app demo here and let me create a password. Now the disk quota by default, you will get 1 GB. You can use all of that or you can make it a smaller database. Let me use 1000 MB here and create that. Once it is created, we need connection string. I will copy this connection string here and modify that in app settings. Paste that here and we will have to add the password that we used when we created the database. So with that, the connection string looks great here. But again, we will have to run update database to apply migration on this new database that is created on the server. What you can also do is you can copy the data source here and you can try to connect that using SQL Server. That should also work. We will have that as the server name here, SQL Authentication. Let me copy the user ID here and enter the password. Perfect. Now if you navigate to database, expand that, you will notice we have all the tables for identity because we applied migration. That is looking great. ASP.NET user will be empty. Now let me run this application locally and if I register an account, because it is using the server database, it will create a record in the ASP.NET users table on the server. I will register here and we can go back to database. Perfect. If I log in, that works here. If I go back to database, perfect. That user is created, but this is not local database. This is the database on Smarter ASP that we created and our configuration is looking great. Now the final thing that we have is deploying our application on the server. Now previously in the good old days what we used to do is we used to publish the application but we used to publish that to folder, gather all the files and then if we go back to the server, I will navigate to the website, we have file manager here and there we used to copy and paste all the files and do configuration. But we do not need to go through all of that headache anymore, we can directly do something called as web deploy. That will make our life super easy. We will have to turn it on here. I will copy the service URL here. Navigate back to the application. And in order to open the publish window again, you will right click on the solution and hit publish. We will create a new profile here. This time we are using a web server here and we will deploy it using web deploy. Let me select that here. 
and we need the credential let me expand this if i go back here let me open the web deployment copy the server then we have the site name after that we have username that is not in the url here and password what you can do is modify and you can always reset that if you do not remember let me do that here and let me enter the password we need the url here let me copy that and i will paste that let me validate the connection perfect you can see the connection was validated let me hit the finish button and then all we have to do is hit the publish button in the old days when we were using older versions of dotnet the deployment was not so straightforward and perfect you can see it is already deployed here let me try to log in perfect it is up and running so deployment has been super easy with smarter asp.net when you are using the web deploy everything goes smooth and it is similar to azure deployment but smarter asp.net is a cheaper alternative when you compare that to azure you can buy a domain name from them and then you can directly add a domain name and you can map that here that way you can link your website to a domain name to show that in your portfolio or your production application i hope you guys have enjoyed the free video on how to host a dotnet application on smarter asp.net make sure to leave a comment and like the video and if you enjoy more videos in the dotnet domain always feel free to write in the comment on what i should record next until then happy coding